Pisces. Welcome to your weekend. Express love reads from the 13th to the 15th of December. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, all the usual stuff, except don't forget I'm running bonus reads between now and the end of the year. So if you guys have already had one, you may get another one if you engage enough. So make sure that you're liking and commenting so much more than the other signs. Um, also, don't forget I am doing a free personal read over the Christmas period. So to be in the running for that, you'll need to have subscribed and hit the notification button because uh, I'll be announcing all the details for that next week sometime. So maybe the back end of next week. All right, let's do the love reading over the weekend for the collective. So Pisces collective love reading from the 13th to the 15th. Pisces collective love the 15th. Ew. Pisces, someone's the it girl. You could be dealing with a fire sign though. And I said girl because it's a queen. Don't everyone freak out. Ooh, but there's another queen here. And she's in reverse. They're two different energies. What's happening? Now, I had to kill these, not kill these cards, but I had to switch decks before because Matcha seemed to crack the shits with me basically and was giving me all these random cards that I couldn't read. So I might need a cleanse. So I hopefully we'll get through this. We'll do our best. Okay, Pisces. And a king in reverse. Oh, and a magician in reverse. What's happening? Mm. Uh oh. And a hierophant in reverse. See what I mean about giving me weird cards? Okay, Pisces. Well, look, someone is definitely trying to manipulate here um, and I think it is this narcissistic king over here because he is just trying to get his own way you could be dealing with a Taurus you could be dealing with any well we've got what have we got we've got fire earth air let's get more information who is the queen of wands please who is the queen of wands So this queen, okay, she's not really saying anything because she's actually exhausted, this queen. And Pisces, I've got to say, I think it's, I think this is you guys channeling any fire you might have in your sign because... You're not really interested in chit-chatting. You're not really interested in listening to anyone's communication or any of their silly crap, basically. You're over here trying to create dreams, trying to make your dreams come true. Um, I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is, though. Who's the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? You're kind of just doing your own thing is what I'm getting from this read. Queen of Pentacles. This is a weird. Who is that? So maybe it might be an earth sign that you're dealing with as well. It can be a male or a female. But it was someone who withdrew their offer of love. Now they're potentially coming back in because that world card is in reverse there. So they may be like, hmm, my cycle isn't closed with you yet. Let's see what else we've got in this. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. I think there may be an earth sign that you've been dealing with recently. They may have kind of made you a promise and then withdrew it. They're coming back in and they don't actually see anything wrong with their behavior, which is a problem. Okay, so there's a lot happening here. But you're off here, you're like, I'm not really interested. That's why you're coming up as... Yeah, I don't care about all these people coming in. 
You may have an you may have an air sign here, or just someone who is incredibly selfish and manipulative. Uh, let's get some more information. Who is this King of Swords in reverse, please? King of Swords in reverse. Yep. Okay. So someone who may have been a little bit sulky or kind of like not really interested in taking opportunities. They said a lot but didn't do a lot. Um, they are also coming back around, but they're coming back around not in a good way. Like this person doesn't see anything wrong with their behavior. This person knows what they're doing is wrong, but somehow justifies how they behave. We um, more on the magician in reverse, please. Yeah. Okay. So they're doing a lot of overindulgence over this period. So they might be sending you a drunken text message um, trying to get you to I don't know pick them up go out with them could be a Virgo I know I said it was an air sign actually I'm feeling this could be a Virgo to be quite honest um, but yeah they uh, they're being really calculated they might be coming across as if they're just drunk texting you but they're actually not as drunk as they're making out. They're trying to get something from you. What's the hyphen in reverse, please? <laughs> You're like, no relationships, blocking relationships. <laughs> so it's kind of saying, look, these people are coming back in, but it's clear that you don't want anything from either of them. What's the most likely outcome, please, for Pisces? Most likely outcome for Pisces. Lovers in reverse. What else did we just get then? Nine of Cups in reverse, though, Pisces. Hierophant in the upright. Oh, sorry. Uh, High Priestess in the upright. Okay. So, look, I think that this is going to remind you of failed relationships because that's what happens when these people come around and then you revisit them and go what the hell was I thinking and I think you're going to have what the hell was I thinking moments when both of these come around again um and it's kind of making you sad because you're doing the why doesn't any relationship ever work out for me why can't I find someone that actually is my lover's card but you know what you're you know where you are. You're in a really good space mentally. Um, you've learned a lot about yourself this year, I think, a lot of you. Your high priestess is in the upright, so you're totally connected to your higher self, which is one of the best places that you can be in. So I don't think that these feelings, these what-if feelings, are going to last for too long this weekend. Anything else for this weekend for Pisces Collective? No, not all of those, please. Pisces Collective. Okay, communication. All right, I actually think you're going to get a lot of benefit from telling these people, you know what, thanks for calling, but I'm not really interested. Have a nice life, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that great stuff, wish you well. Um, I also think you're going to be getting a lot of messages like social invites coming in as well for this weekend. Accept them. Don't be sitting at home wallowing in sadness. I want you to be getting out there. Even if you're tired, get out there. Say yes to everything. She is a social queen. She's out there. She's having a great time. She's attractive. She's got everyone sort of looking at her going, oh, my God, she's so amazing. That's you, Pisces. Male or female, that is you. Advice, please. Slow down. You're, you're trying to do too much at the moment, so stop it. You're probably trying... It's like slow down at work. You might be working too hard at the moment. That's coming through with so many signs at the moment um, because of the time of year. So just chill out, slow down, relax, take a breather. One more, please. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> someone is spying. So you're being told that someone is definitely spying. You might be doing the spying. Um, but there's also a reluctance to walk away. Um, before you think you can't walk away, just have a little sneaky peek at someone's social media maybe and that will help you remind you of why you walked away from these but I think you're going to actually have moments of what was I thinking with these people let's do a romance angel romance angel for Pisces please let go of control issues <laughs> Oh dear. All right, Pisces, I don't need to clarify that. That's pretty clear. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so you don't miss out on the notification for the free personal read. And I will see you right back here for the weekly reads. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.